a screw is an aerial barrel roll. What you do is you come screaming down the wave, hop your boat until you're fully out of the water, and then do a quick back deck roll to land flat. If you do it right, you won't get wet at all. It's one of the coolest moves because you get fully out of the water, you get all the way upside down, you're looking at the water, and then twist your boat so that you land flat, and the crowd goes screaming. The technique you're going to use to do the air screw is identical to the donkey flip. Assuming you can do the donkey flip now, you're ready to air screw. The only difference is we've got to figure out a way to get the full rotation in the air, land on the hull, and not flush off the wave. Now, there's a couple difficulties that you're going to find initially learning the air screw. Number one is getting the boat to land straight and not grab a bunch of green water and pull you off the wave. Now, if you want to know where that, that angle comes from that causes your bow to go downstream instead of stay pointed upstream, it's when you go to sit up. Essentially, you're coming down, you launch off the wave, you do your back deck roll, your boat comes all the way around, but at that moment, right when you're about to go up right side up again, you're very tempted to want to sit up straight. Now, what happens to sit up? You're lifting your knees. Let's say you've made a 270 degree rotation. When you go to sit up at that point, you're pulling your knees up and pulling the bow downstream. You need to wait long enough and get enough rotation that your body is back over top of the boat before you sit up. That will allow you to keep the bow pointed upstream and you can stay on the wave. To get more air on your air screw, there's three things you're going to want to do. Number one, you're going to want to start all the way at the top of the waves. So you have as much potential as possible. Number two, you're going to want to be dropping in as fast as you can. So you're going to look for when the wave is the steepest and you've got a clean runway. And number three, you're going to want to throw it with as much force and power as you can. Where do you put your force and power? Well, first, when you're dropping into the wave, you're going to stomp the bow down. That's going to get the boat nice and steep, and it's going to want to rock up. The moment the bow starts rocking up, you're going to lean back hard, lifting up on your knees, and you're going to throw the back deck roll as hard and fast as you can. That's going to pop the, the hull of the boat over top of your body, giving you as much air as possible. It's also going to give you the fastest rotation and the most likelihood of landing it.